Hey guys, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die with me, Tenzin. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing pretty good. So, we're picking up right where we left off in the last, uh, from the last episode after night 35. Um, we survived the night. It was pretty good. Um, we ran out of ammo, which that always kind of sucks. I thought bird nests don't spawn. Ah, whatever. Anyways, so I've decided to change the base on the outside just a little bit. So we're going to do... Something like this, like a trench all the way through with this concrete, as you can see. Oops. Oh yeah, there's... I forgot there was a uh, stone around the base for some reason. But anyways, we're gonna kind of make a moat, but we're like, as you see on the ground there. But we're gonna fill it in with spikes and uh, hopefully try and upgrade them to the maximum we can go. We're gonna have to come back out here when we have just some uh, normal concrete mix to upgrade this um for the max because for one it'll look nicer and two it'll be stronger so <laughs> but uh yeah so that's what the plan is um we don't have to worry until night 42 for uh the next attack so i kind of hope that you know this all i think this will do a little bit better or work a lot a little bit better than the last one um or the Better than this, right? It'll definitely be easier to maintain the spikes, I think, because you'll be looking down on them instead of trying to look across them. You know what I mean? So, anyways, <laughs> but yeah, so that's the plan. Um, so obviously we've got, we're going to need a lot of uh, iron or scrap metal. So we're going to have to do a ton of iron or mining during the night. And I'm going to try. <laughs> like we got a lot of uh, little little things on the go here. We're gonna try and put a roof on top of the tower here, just because I think it'm gonna look nice and I think it needs it. <laughs> so we're gonna do try and do that. We'll we'll see what we can do. Uh, but yeah, I will get some concrete going, uh, do some more demo, and hopefully get most of this done. And uh, yeah, I'll bring you guys back when and I got a good chunk of it done. All right, see you guys in a second. Hey guys. So we're almost done uh, well, putting up uh, the defenses for our base, but I just wanted to show you guys the basement at the moment. Um, it's getting close to night. It's only been two nights or two days since uh, we stopped, <laughs> or uh, yeah, where I cut you guys out. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we went after the iron down on the ground here. Um, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do. I might follow it i might actually fill it in too because i have a bunch of uh soil being made right now so i might just fill this hole it's just because the reason i started to dig here was because we needed iron and we needed it bad so that's kind of why we ended up doing it there um i'm sure there's probably well i know there's more above us and i'm sure there's more this way plus we have the two other locations where we know there's nitrate so there should be um what would you say, uh, nitrate, um, I don't know why I can't remember the name of it now. Uh, I, iron there. <laughs> Apparently words are hard. Anyways, uh, so we're just going to run upstairs here really quickly. Um, I think we've used almost like 7,000, uh, scrap iron at the moment. Uh, so yeah, there should be some iron here just because of all the sand and the nitrate. Um, we started to dig here. There wasn't, uh, we haven't hit iron, we hit nitrate, and then the nitrate kind of sneaks in behind the ladder here, but I was like, no, let's just keep going this way and we can get some stone. So maybe we'll get lucky and we'll hit something down this way. Um, since it's an offshoot from our normal base, or like the main, I'm just doing wood frames. Eventually I'll close the ceiling in, but uh, at the moment there's no biggie for it. So, oh, and then obviously when I was coming off the ladder, I accidentally hit the ladder a couple of times. <laughs> so let's go up to the top. Uh, I haven't done the roof yet. Um, up here. I'm trying to think of it, like what to do here. We might just go with another row of concrete blocks all the way around. No, we won't do that. Hmm. Have to think of something because uh, I, I was going to go with wood, like two of four wood posts and then build a roof on it. The problem is, is if the cops show up, they're just going to blow right through that. Like, their vomit's just going to bust the the columns. So, I was like, yeah, I don't want to be underneath it when it falls, right? So, 
We have to think of something, but I do want to get a roof. Like maybe another. Maybe... I'm just trying to think here. Maybe we can move. No. Yeah, we might have to build something all the way out here. Just so we can get off the wall. Well, unless we make the wall up here, make a door here. We'll figure something out, but <laughs> at the moment, it is what it is. Um I'll keep giving another I'll keep giving another think. So putting the wood plank across just because. Uh oh, another thing. Um I haven't had all three forges going at one time yet, but I've had two of them going pretty much the whole time. Uh, we've been doing this and I have yet to see a screamer so I'll, I will try and fire up the third one overnight um, we'll get it cooking something I'm not sure what but we'll just even if we just we're just turning it on to find out but yeah I haven't seen a screamer that is really weird sorry I just see this hole over here in this This wasn't here before, so the question is, did a zombie do this? That is messed up. That It must have been done by a zombie coming through. That's neat. Alright. <laughs> I know, kind of stupid, but anyways, I thought it was kind of cool. Um, yeah, and our garden's taken off like crazy. Uh, it's only been two days, two, three days since we planted it, and it's already ready to go again which is weird but makes me happy because we have lots of food now so we have you know uh concrete then three spikes concrete right so the reason that there's that inside one is because we're going to actually make that wall triple thick so we're going to go up one more um which kind of sucks because then i gotta bust all that scrap metal again but it, it is what it is and i will repair the wall as we go up so that you know these spots that were hit um, we don't have to worry about them all that much. Uh, we've gotten, okay, so f from where we walked out from the plank there, to the left of it, all the way around the corner to here, we've had, we've upgraded it all. Oh man, why do I have forged steel on me? <laughs> Alright, well, whatever, we'll use it. Gotta use it up, right? It's eventually got to be forged steel, so... We just need to hit like a really, really nice, um, oh, okay, we're maxed out. Uh, we need to hit a really nice iron vein. I think the one at the very bottom is pretty good, but it'd be nice if we just could find one just a little bit richer. <laughs> I'm sure there is. Uh, we'll check out the, oh, are we already out of scrap metal? Holy cow, that was 1,500 scrap metal right there, you guys. <laughs> so... Doesn't last long, but at least we got some of it done. Um, we got a couple of days before, we got five days before the horde. But yeah, all this is upgraded to yeah. Yeah, um, you know what? Actually, let's go for a tour of this place. I haven't shown you guys it, and I was talking it up before. With that. So we're probably gonna get a little lost in here, you guys. I'm just gonna check the bike really quick. What's got? Guns. Um. Probably gonna get a little, little lost in there. It's oh, like actually, I'll empty. That's what we should do: is empty our inventory as much as possible. Because just in case stuff is respawned down there, then at least we can uh, pick it up. I also have to we have to go looking for some gotta go uh feather run again. Um but yeah, okay, so here what I found. I came in over here by this door. Oh, missed him. Ah, oh, missed him. Ah, oh, missed him. Got him. What do we do? Knock him out? Oh, now we killed him. Okay, <laughs> I was like, what the heck? <laughs> That's right, we're tough. Anyways, so... There's some pretty good stuff in here. Well, actually, really good stuff. I want to get on top of that roof because I want that spotlight. Um, Over here, there's this zombie. 
the only stuff we've left on here because it wasn't good enough the munitions box and then we just start heading down I think yeah yeah nope sorry anyways <laughs> so it kind of brings you down here there's an empty box or you know some garbage and stuff like that uh, I'm not 100% sure it's like it almost shows you where you should go or start digging but we'll figure that out in a future video so yeah, here's the door to go downstairs sorry and then you can go up there there's a zombie and some uh other i think the briefcase or something like that that's pretty much it so this is kind of how i wanted the entrance to our base but it's it would just require so much um concrete and the width just be unbelievable so i decided not to even though i should have okay looks like stuff may have no so we're actually going to find stuff that we missed. So you hit the car park. Uh, I think we checked all of these sedans. I don't need the tires, that's why I left them. Ah, corpse, untouched, guns, okay. Briefcase, ah, splint. Uh, we, you know, we always got to keep that somewhere. Just leave it there, just in case we still need it later on. So this is why this place is so good. Like, these crates are empty at the moment, but uh, when they respawn, and this is just one of multiple rooms with them. They jump down here. Another level. Actually, I didn't even jump down that way. Huh, maybe we'll have to check that one out on the way out. So, more cardboard boxes, scrap iron, you know, mechanical parts. And electrical parts for days down here. Now uh, there's table. Uh, I don't know if I really searched around this table. Uh, yeah, I must have. I should take the chairs though. Grab them down. Get some wood. <sighs> yeah, you can hear the zombie, and that's one of the reasons why I didn't make our base down here. Unless that's from upstairs. That oh, was sensed. I mean, upstairs, yeah. But we'll see if we run into these guys. Um, they sound like they're pretty close, but you never know, right? Um, yeah, more. <laughs> oh, did I get that one? Yeah. More boxes, more cupboards. Like, when I came down here the first time, these were completely... St uh... Everything had something in it, so... <laughs> It'll be a good little place to come back to later on. Um, so there's two different stairwells down. So that one, and then there's this one. Which takes you into another room full of boxes. Okay. Should just, I should empty that, but whatever. More mechanical parts from the chairs, and electrical parts like crazy. <laughs> Down in here, another cardboard box. Up. Oh, nice. I'm really curious where these guys are, the zombies are. Um, I guess we'll find out soon enough. So this one goes into a silo. Which goes down another level, which we're, we are going to go do. Why are we uh, <laughs> up on there? And then there's another silo over here, which is empty, right? So, what is it? One, two, and then three. And then, oops. I want to go down. I want to get over there. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh, so that's how you do it. You make a corner angle like that. All right. Interesting. I was kind of wondering how you do a catwalk at an angle. Now I can see. Alright, let's go down this way and see what we got. Hopefully we don't run into any zombies. Sounds like they're close, but I don't know if they are. Uh, more cardboard boxes. Untouched. Alright, like a bone really matters. Um, some bookcases down here. Nightstands. And table. Eh. Uh, let's put that one in there. Some stuff scrapped. But yeah, like, this place is... You know, just... It's full of stuff. If you can find it, 
Um, I'll just show you guys what it looks like on the map. That's kind of like what the building looks like, right? So you're looking for these two uh, red circles. Uh, let's see, nightstand. Like I've, most of these have been searched, and if I've, oh. <laughs> there's reasons why I've left stuff. We gotta empty our inventory, come back down in here, get all these clothes. Because we can just take it over to Trader Joe's. That's why I left them. And there's another no. Okay, so this is the very bottom. We jumped onto that platform, came down, came down the stairs, and then there's tunnel here. Um, I can't remember what it matches up to. I think I might be just up around the corner here. These zombies are annoying, huh? Just listening to them. Okay, so I think it's, yeah, it's right here. And then, yeah, it kind of just takes you around in a big circle. Yeah, because we came from this area. <laughs> it's hard. You see, I told you, that, like, you'd get lost down here. And then... Yeah. There, there. So, yeah. If you guys do run across this place, I wouldn't make a base in here. Just so you can make... Like, maybe on the main, the very top floor would be on the right place to make a base. But I, I would want to leave this as much alone as possible. Just so it respawns. Like, look at all the boxes that are everywhere. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, let's get out of here now. Watch, now we're gonna run into the zombies. Okay, can't get up that way. Oh, I think you have to go to the silo, and there's, uh... Both trying to figure out where these guys are. Uh, you go to the silo here. Oops. See what I mean? I'm so lost. Uh, down here? There we go. <laughs> so you go to the silo. Ooh, it's nighttime too. This is not good. They busted through that main concrete gate, then we're in big trouble. But you can go around in here. Um, I can't remember. There is. There's that other. There's like a little bunker on the surface there. I don't remember how we're going to get to it. We can get to it though. It's not here. It doesn't take us up. Maybe we went up one too many floors. Okay, let's go down. I don't know how it's still sensing us. Oh, maybe the, the meat. That might be why. Let's scrap some more stuff. Okay. So you got more. Like this is another room that we we didn't come into earlier. But it's not far. Okay, so then you go up here. <sighs> um more bookcases. More desks, more mechanical parts. More desks. <laughs> okay, let's go up. And this should bring us out. Yeah, okay. Here's the little bunker part. I think they busted through the wall. Yeah, it looks like it. There's no, nothing there anymore. Oh. Because they're jerks. Oh, yeah. Then there's the two gun safes. And obviously you can see why I left them. And... Let's take good stuff for the moment. Let's see. Like <laughs> it's just there's just too much. Um oh yeah, okay. So this gets us up on the roof. We can get up there. There's a munitions thing here. And then that's right, we're gonna have to wrench uh these two spotlights out. I don't think I there's definitely more than one, but let's see. Oh yeah, there we go. There's another one. Oh, we only have three left. 
I guess the question is, where else could there be more zombies? <laughs> We're stuck out here during the night. It's not that bad, though. I like how they changed the everything. So let's go... Yeah, we're just gonna run for the base, I guess. I'm gonna listen to the zombies, whether or not they're following us. <laughs> Alright. Well, that wasn't... It really wasn't too bad. If you guys like the episode, please leave a like, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, and yeah, in the next one, uh, well, it'll be night 42. <laughs> I'll know if we, uh, uh, if, the, if we're deep enough in the ground to avoid the screamers, and uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do to survive. Hopefully start getting everything organized down here, because we are not quite yet. I still need to build this, the gun safe, or put the gun safe down and stuff like that. But yeah, enough of my rambling. <laughs>